there is no objective point of view. It's a matter of policy of the city government and also the state government on the artist and on, on the culture. I, I'm not expecting that support from the country or government is going to become any different. Art scenes exist here, but it's very difficult to be artist in Serbia. You have like a pigment, the filler and the binder, so, I mean, but in most cases, I mean, like how it's traditionally actually done. The egg yolk was, was the binder actually on like for, for this technique. My name is Alexander Todorovic. I finished the College of Fine Arts. I've been, you know, like painter since generally 2007. I was uh, born here in Serbia, in Belgrade, and I've lived here all of my life, basically. What I'm actually you know, like doing, you know, like it's the art which is socially uh, and politically engaged in a way. So I'm exploring, you know, like the topics ranging from various social and or political issues. And I'm doing them in a, let's just say that it is the use of the orthodox Christian iconography and visual style. relationship between what is real and what is not, what is digital and what is, you know, like uh, physical and real. My family doesn't know uh, what I'm doing in my art because it's uh, kind of very personal but also very po political. But I think that I have a right to express myself, just that. My name is Kia. Uh, mostly I consider myself as outsider artist. My interest in art, uh, especially in feminist approach to art, started with the uh, women's studies. My education was more autodidact and not official, so that I learned through some independent process. I don't consider myself as an artist which uh, is also dependent from art, you know, so it's a privileged position. I do my individual art through performances and through some visual art, and mostly it's uh, connected with my interest in sexuality and body politics, and also disability theory. <laughs> I think that it's, uh, it was the need to relieve uh, myself from some kind of obsessive, compulsive thoughts and ideas, for example. Uh, when uh, I uh, really sometimes had some idea for years and then I had to, to free myself from it. <laughs> I come from a small city and I need to, to fight for myself. My name is Dusan Božić. I'm from Petrovac Namlavi, that's the eastern part of uh, Serbia. Uh, finished there the high school, came here on, on the studies and uh, that was the city where, I, where I'm enjoying and find myself, you know. Uh, I rent this space with my colleague from Academy. Mm. Basically my art, it's, um, my expression of art, it's a little bit in the shadow, how to say. Uh, I'm not uh, showing in the, some exhibitions. I'm working uh, some uh, scenography and making uh, sculpture for other people.
Belgrade is a very dynamic city. I like to live here very much. I was thinking earlier to get out of here, but now I don't want to go. Because this atmosphere you can get here in the Belgrade, I know, not, not just in the Belgrade, in Serbia, that's mentality, energy, uh, you can't find, uh, I think, in some other places. That's what I'm thinking. But I'm very proud when some people go uh, from, from Serbia and get some, you know, big steps in their, their lives. I'm very proud about them. That might sound selfish, but I'm treating this city almost as a place where I need to be just from the primary reasons of not being able to be somewhere else because because of the cost, because of those things. Here in Serbia we have a very big problem and I don't think it's gonna fix, you know, by the night. We don't have some radical changes. There is a lot of troubles with Belgrade. We have this feeling that uh, the city government is throwing the money on such stupid things like, like fountains, symbols, and not to healthcare, not to such things. People, I don't think, in like abroad, really don't care what's going on here. This is a type of, uh, of almost like a type of dictatorship. This country is almost like a prison, actually. Well, art scenes, it exists here, but to, it's very difficult to be artist in Serbia. People just uh, who, are, who are not generally doing art and everything, they think it's much, much easier than it what actually, you know, like it is, you know, like it is really hard, you know, like work. A lot of people are, uh, are doing, you know, like all sorts of interesting stuff here. But it is not something which one can actually expect to live off. I'm very sad when I see that people are doing a great job and that they can't survive. At the end of the story, everybody are paid except artists. Or if they get, it's a very small amount of money. So their status today is not solved in any way. Well, I don't, I don't, I don't see a solution how they can, how can we get more money? Our artist doesn't have studios. There is a lot of cultural center which are empty in a way. You have a whole day, empty spaces and some events at the evening. Through any kind of statistic you can see, you know, like that the money for culture is being, you know, like misused, misappropriated or put in some ways which you cannot really control, which are not transparent. The culture as in itself, I mean, it is just a part of the broader social, you know, like a political issue. If you're living in a country which is not doing well in so many other, you know, like crucial areas of life to have, you know, like a vivid cultural life, but there has to be, you know, like the support, you know, like from the country. And I think that it is lacking. The ideas are lacking. The executions is also because of it lacking because the people uh, who are actually in charge really do not know what they're doing. The man is not here, for sure. I don't know when it will change that recognition in the future and how it will change. So I want those things addressed and want those things to be improved. I want this country you know, like, to actually move forward. But who actually cares? Does the world care? I don't, I don't see the world really cares. I was, you know, like uh, on protests several years ago or something like that. There were tens of thousands of people on the streets. How was it reported in the, in, the, in the media abroad? I really followed it. It wasn't reported almost at, at all. I have hope, yeah. I'm orthodox. I needed to have hope. I'm hoping, you know, like that, that, that with the further development of my work, that this is something that can also become an option, you know, like for me to maybe move somewhere else and to live somewhere else.
and uh, to be able to sustain myself, you know, from my art. Well, uh, one one times in the future, it, I, I'm gonna be that man who gonna sign some project. I find my purpose, you know, in arts. It is very hard to make any way, any kind of living, you know, like of your art. And it, it definitely, you know, like affects a, a lot of life decisions and plans and uh, a lot of sacrifices. I mean, I created pieces. They are focused on the theme of Balkans, on Serbia, of our contemporary history and everything. And I cannot sell them over here because over here people just are unable, you know, like to afford them. Our art market is pretty much non-existent, especially for younger artists. So it's not that uh, artists from Serbia doesn't know how to paint or that uh, their art is not contemporary uh, relevant. They are just invisible.